kind of noisy out here today and I'm wearing another hat. The kids particularly like this. This one is called an Amish hat. A-M-I-S-H. It's a very unique um, religious group that lives in the United States. They start from what's called the Anti-Baptist Movement. But uh, it keeps the sun out of your eyes and uh, kind of cool. But anyway, today we're talking about one of our tips. And this one is kind of important. This one is the, let me get it here where you don't see so many shadows. See if that helps you. Yeah. Okay. So today we're talking about the tip that I'm calling the one best method for learning English. Uh, you'll hear one person say this is the best, another person say this is the best, and of course uh, universities and official schools, academia, will say only academic institutions. Then why are we still having trouble, particularly with spoken English, huh? The one best method is the one that you will follow, the one that you will trust enough in to do your part. I don't care what the system is. Well, okay, some of them are pretty stupid, but um, you have to find what you enjoy or what you're able to do the steps on. No matter how much fun of a thing we do, no matter how easy it seems, if you do not carefully pursue and follow the outlines and the steps that are created for you, it's, it's going to fail you or you're going to spend a lot more time. That's the biggest problem with most English pro programs now. Unless you happen to be a linguist, naturally able to learn languages, it's so much work, it takes so long. You have to find the system you like, trust their guidance, and then work it. Work the system. So, what's the best system? Besides karaoke ESL and the stuff I do? Whatever you can embrace and that you can follow up. So um, we have to give everybody respect. Everybody is different and when you look closely I think that you'll find something that works for you that doesn't have to be a pain. Something that you can easily allow yourself to follow and carefully pursue. Alright, that's it for this one. Bye-bye.